You get a good look at Madap's crops. The fruit and vegetables around here are growing large and healthy. Too much so it appears. These crops look like they have been made by the shaper here to grow very, very quickly. Shaper should know better. It was discovered long ago that the main crops would grow too quickly to destroy the soil and cause great harm in the long run. The problems haven't started for these people yet. However, this is a great example of why the Shaper Council works so hard to keep all Shaper activity under its control. Creating life is one of the most volatile and dangerous things people can do. Unintended consequences are always expected. Oh yeah, that's gonna backfire. Maybe I should bring that up with her. Hmm, nothing there. No, at this juncture, I'm not going to break into anybody's home. Oh, hello there. This woman is hard to work on taking care of the crops. However, it seems that most of the time it's been keeping the cell farm from doing any harm. The servers are not very good at their tasks. So I have to brown looks here. Hello, Shaper. I'd hope we could go show off our crops too. How goes with farming today? Well, I'd hope you would stop by and see how well our crops are doing. Unlike Dry Peak, we are able to make the all the food we need. Second, but some work to get to some plants with floating soil. Yeah. But have you, like, considered the long run with these fast growing plants? I don't know about those things. I just trust the Shapers to look after us and make plants we can use. How ironic. The servers lost their mindless faith in you, but regular humans continue to believe that the servers can always fix everything. Yeah, another question. Is it difficult to teach servers to farm? Said so decides. Yes, many of the servers that come here were used for menial labor. Their minds, which could be sharp, were left to decay. I can teach them, but first I have to overcome many years of fear and civility. Yeah, by the way, I'm helping learn Pena, and she suspects there's a spy. You keep an eye on things, so... Do you have any info? No, Shape, I won't look after my farmers, and I don't think any one of them is smart enough to do anything harmful. Uh, okay. hmm. Should probably see if I can't bring that up. This leads to patrol path. Right. Okay, um yeah. A recluse must live back here. The far small farmer's crew and Paul attended and there's a sign saying, STAY AWAY! Thinking you smell garbage. The person wanted very hard to get away from civilization. These mountains are a good place to do it. Yeah, no, I'm investigating. Well, hello there. This man wears torn, dirty clothes. He has a distinct odor. He's unarmed, though. He has a small pouch on his belt with rattles move around. The person edges him. GET OUT! GET OUT! You ask his name. I'm Quiddy! Now get out! Where did you come from? I just want a place to be alone, away from humans, away from shapers. And you're messing with it up. Now get out. What's that power? My defenses, and you'll find out soon enough. If you don't leave me alone, go away. Yeah, um, I have a last thing I want to ask you. Clearly passed it back and forth and the fingers of the parchment bed. Get out. Sure, sure. I, I doubt you have any idea about this since you isolated yourself out here, but... I'm looking for a spy. Kind of not safe from it up. Do you know anything? What? No. I don't know a thing. I never leave me here. I never do anything. I don't care. Go away. Go. Interesting. There's a flick of something because that's fear maybe a cunning. Hmm. I'm trying to decipher the second one because that one's bit well it's good you're under spy because if more you'd know I suspect you and you could get away easily and leave Madame alone. There's better than the other. Sivis so silent for a moment, he thinks about his position here. He sizes you up, he thinks some more. The diplomatic turn your back on him. When you turn around he's gone. You weren't able to punch him, but Madap has gotten rid of the spy, and that's what's important. Right, so the fact that he ran was the evidence for him being a spy. Hmm. 
Okay. Miss Silva is staring silently into the flames and chanting. She moves her hands slowly in intricate patterns. You immediately recognize what she's doing. These motions and exercises are traditional for anyone who learns how to do magic, including you. They help focus and clear the mind. Servals are never top magic. It's very strange to see a servo doing them. Eventually, she notices that she is not alone and stops exercise. She turns to you. Hello, Shiva. I'm Lark. Who we'll taught you magic? Magic is the one source of power we brought with us from Sook Island. We can not try to take shape and power into ourselves, but some of us did learn magic. We are attempting to spread and increase the power. Hmm. Well, good luck with that. Carry on. Thank you, Shaper. I hope you will go north east and exchange knowledge with us. I'm sure we can learn much from each other. It seems unlikely so I could ever teach you anything about magic, but who knows? You had enough surprises since you came here. Hey, I have another question. Where what? No, wait, you actually just said that. Sorry. I don't know what happened. I, brain I had a brain fart. You already told me where I can learn magic. Wait, there must be something up here. Let's check that. By the way, how much leadership do I need? I mean, is there a point where you can have too much leadership? Like, is there a point where it's just not gonna come up at... Oh, come up again? Because I really want the leadership, but... Um... Yeah. But I don't want to be wasting skill points with abuse on something else that would, you know, help me survive. So yeah, I have a couple of questions before uh the first. Um Basal. Do you know where he is? Oh yes, I know Basal well. He's the leader of the city of Rising to the southeast. There he used stone shape enough to make himself strong and mad in equal measure. You can go meet him if you want. He may have much of interest to tell you. As of course if he doesn't stab you first. Joy. Shanti, my teacher, has disappeared. The one I talked to said you might know something. Where is she? I don't know of her, I'm sorry. Oh, the scouts who came to aid you said that they saw in the distance a fight between your attackers and another human. They knocked the human out and dragged it off. It was all seen from a distance, though. Whether it was your train or not, I do not know. Can you give me any sort of training or assistance? Me? No. All of our training magical work takes place in the cave's two days' walk to the northeast. That's interesting. Two days' walk. So that might have meant that when we travel around, it's actually taking a long time. Of course, the standard awakening fashion, you'll have to pay for the help we give you. Hmm. What can you tell me about the other set of settlements? Uh, there's Dry Peak, that's the mask that hides from the Shapers, what has been happening in these mountains. Then there's Rising to the southwest, the warriors determined to fight the Shapers, and by fight I mean antagonize. And there's Sazus to the west. It's ruled by the surviving Takers, a sect on Suki Island dedicated to vengeance and the destruction of the Shapers. They're quite mad. You will be at great risk if you go up there. And as if times were not hard enough, our people start to get ill. Ill. I think I heard about that at some point. Yes, a new disease that makes us weak and tired and harms the skin. This is as bad as God so far, but I think it will get worse. You should talk to Carnelian about us. She's a Shaper too. She's been wearing to cure us. Yeah, another thing. Um, Crilly, the hermit who didn't want to talk to anybody and lived in a corner of the village, turns out he was the spy. Who would have thunk it? That is good thing. I'm pleased. Thank you, Shaper. I'll consider this deal when the sign will to allow you into the wagon. Okay, so I need to prove more my loyalty. Well, I might as well help you. The madness of Selma and Sazuza turned against us. The hurt the shapers and the hate all will not, not fight them with equal passion. Unfortunately, there are some drakes on their side. One of the drakes lives to the southwest. It's an abandoned crystal mine on the other side. And if you can find it and get it to leave. Or die. Our way is fine. I think I know that one. 
I might as well just get that done. I already talked to that guy. Oh hey, I leveled up. Yeah, that's not really a easy to recognize level up sound. Yeah, you know what? I'll save it for now. Just in case I get an answer to my earlier question. This must be the place. That is to the southeast, I think. This would be it, right? Here and it could also be over here ish. I'm not certain. Not certain at all. You know what? We'll check that out next time. It's been a while. So we lost a lot of interesting information this time. Not a lot of action, but yeah. So yeah. This has been Eric Cobra and this has been Let's Play Gene Forge 2 Blind. See you all around.